Great, let's get started. Standing tall on your mat. Come, please come up to the top of your mat. Get yourself set in your space. Find your Tadasana stance. Reach your arms up overhead with a big inhale. Maybe take your gaze up. And now shrug your shoulders up by your ears. Lift them up, lift up out of your hips. And as you exhale, let your shoulder blades slide down on your back, keeping your arms extended up towards the ceiling. And do that again. Inhale, reach your arms up, lift your shoulder blades up, let them crumb up by your ears, and then draw them down using the muscles in your back. Take another deep breath in. And now we'll begin to make our way forward into a fold. Reach out to the top of your mat. Come all the way down, fingers reaching towards the floor. Bend your knees. Let your head hang. You can shake out your head. Release the muscles in your neck. So as we begin to strengthen some muscles, we also stretch the opposing muscle groups. Here, stretching out the backs of your legs. Bend your knees a lot so your body, your torso drapes over your thighs. And continue to bring your focus to your breath. Such a great tool. Inhale, lift up halfway with a long spine. And then as you exhale, we'll round in again, letting your head hang towards the ground. And let's do that again. Inhale, lift up, lengthen, draw your belly in, supporting your spine with your core muscles. And then slowly, as you exhale, round forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, reach your arms back behind you, palms face each other. Strengthen your arms as if you're squeezing in on a ball. And then come all the way up to standing arms, reach up towards the sky. Get long through both sides, hands to heart center, and then down by your side. Tadasana, mountain pose. Strong like a mountain, grounded. Take a breath here. Arms sweep up overhead as you inhale. Interlace fingers and tick tock side to side, right and left. So begin to stretch through the sides of your body opening up one side and then the other. It's great work for your spine, keeping the muscles along your spine healthy, pliant, and resilient. Next time you're to the right, reach your fingers over to the right side bending. Press down into your left foot. So that's where you're getting strong through and solid through that left side. Spread your foot wide on your mat, press out into your hip. Go a little deeper, find that just right spot, that Goldilocks spot. Take a breath here. Rise up through center, inhale, and move to the other side. So bend to your left, open up the right side. So again, having that opposition of compressing your left side body, ribs towards hips, and opening up your right side. Notice your breath, it's still smooth and deep. Rise up, take a big breath in, reach up, reach back, and then arms down by your side. Get ready to take a quarter turn to the right side of your mat, face the long edge of your mat. Start at the top of your mat, and then we'll reach both arms up overhead. Big step out with your right foot, step to the side. Turn your right toes towards the back of your mat and bring your arms out to the side, shoulder height. Setting up for a warrior two pose, bend your right knee and straighten it. Just getting into your pose. So finding some pliability, finding some movement here. And then keeping your right knee bent, finding warrior two. Arms press down, pinkies press back. Arms are strong here. Feel the muscles around your shoulder blades begin to engage and fire up. Maybe they've been a little lazy. So here we're working them. Looks really good. 
Take a deep breath here. Stay with your warrior two pose, working your legs, finding strength in that front leg, your quadricep, and strengthen your back leg, keeping it straight and strong. Take your time with your breath, and now change. Bring your right elbow inside your right knee. Reach your left arm straight up towards the ceiling. Your arms are making a straight line, just like on the clock at 12 and 6 o'clock. Keep reaching down through your bottom fingertips. Keep reaching up through your left fingertips. Bring your gaze up to your top hand. And pause here. Now, coming up out of your pose, reverse. Reach your right arm up. Straighten your right leg. We'll move in and out of the poses, coming back to that side angle variation. Arms at 12 and 6. As you inhale, reverse. Sweep up with your right arm. Lean back. And then go again. Back to your side angle variation. Inhale, reverse, come up, reach back, reach overhead. Now coming into side angle once more. Try that again, reverse, reach up, reach back. Side angle, reach your top arm overhead, reach it towards the back of your mat. Come on up and switch your feet. Right toes turn in, left toes turn towards the top of your mat. Warrior two, facing the top of your mat. So bending and straightening that front leg. Again, as if you're just dipping into the pool to find that just right spot. We call it your edge. Any more too much, any less not enough. Arms press down, pinky edge of your hand, pressing back to open your shoulders. Take a deep breath here. Stay strong when you're posed. Let's change, reverse, reach up, reach back. And now come into that side angle variation, left elbow inside your left knee, right arm reaching straight up. Find your breath, stay steady with your pose, stay strong in your legs, solid. Reach up, reach back, reverse, you can straighten your front leg, return to side angle. Inhale, reverse, reach up, reach back, side angle pose. Going in and out, moving with your breath, reverse, inhale. Side angle variation. Good, nice job. Reach that top arm overhead, extending through your fingertips and rolling the back edge of your right foot towards the mat to strengthen up your back leg. Let's come back up, find, turn your toes towards the long edge of your mat, and change your feet again, right toes towards the back of your mat, triangle pose, bringing now your right hand down on your leg, left arm reaching up, sides of the body long, Utita Trikonasana, extended side angle, so lengthening through your arms, lengthening the sides of your body, and stretching through all parts with your core center body nice and strong. Take one more breath here. And then come on up. Let's switch sides. Pointing your left toes towards the top of your mat. Take a big breath in. Slide your hips to the back of your mat. Triangle pose. Tilting your head. Hips are stacked. Shoulders are stacked. can set your gaze here up at your top thumb. Setting your gaze will help you focus in your pose. Rise back up, bend your front knee, warrior two. There you go. Reverse, reach up and back with your left arm. Now bring your hands to your mat and step into a high plank pose. Legs can be straight here. Really good, feeling your strength in your plank pose. Remember, you can make this practice work for you. You can work with your knees on the mat, pressing back into your heels, seeing how strong Doug and Sharon look in this pose. 
ready to come out, knees to the mat, take child's pose for a rest. Working strongly and then finding these moments of rest to build resilience. Great. Settle into your child's pose, letting your hips move towards your heels. Take an easy inhale. Open your mouth, let that breath go. Rise up to tabletop position, hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide. Tuck your toes. See if you can float your knees just off your mat, coming into a floating table position. Really strong here. Needing to draw that front body up towards your back body, keeping your spine long. Holding here for a breath. You can do this. You can do hard things. Knees to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Walk your hands forward for puppy pose. Forehead moving towards the ground. Great. Shift your hips towards the back of your mat. Dropping your chest towards the ground. Take a breath in here. Open your mouth, exhale, pressing the air out and drawing your belly button up towards your spine. Coming out of the pose, back to tabletop position. Walk your knees towards the top of your mat. You can roll over your shins or come onto your back in another way. You find the best way there. We'll set up for bridge pose, bringing your arms by your side, feet about hip distance, Tuck your shoulders under and rise up into bridge. Hips lift, glutes engaged, pressing your hips up towards the sky. Press down into both feet. Big inhale here. Let that breath go. Stay in your bridge pose. You can interlace hands at your low back. Lift your hips, breathe in. Lift your heels up off the mat and now slowly sink down to your mat. Hips come all the way down to the ground. Draw your knees into your chest for a reset and rock and roll side to side. Great release for your low back. Strengthening our bodies in different ways on our mat in standing poses, strengthening our legs, and then coming to our mats to build some strength. Take your legs out into that butterfly shape, soles of the feet together, knees wide, Hands are behind your head. Take a deep breath in, doing some core work. As you exhale, lift your head and lift your knees, elbows moving towards your knees. Inhale, lower, feet to the mat, head to the mat. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower and open up. Use your exhale to compress through your spine. Draw up. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbows come towards knees. Going nice and slow and steady. Going at a slow pace so we have some control to really engage those core muscles. Press your low back towards the mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl up. Just a couple more times. Inhale, open. And settle back down on your mat. You can keep your feet in that butterfly shape and bring your hands to your body. One hand on your heart, one hand on your navel center. That strong center body that moves you through your day. We have one more core exercise to really focus on that part of our body, our abdominal muscles, all layers of them. This time we're going to work the side muscles, your obliques. So extend your legs out long. Start by reaching your arms over your head. Then bring your arms by your side, palms face down. Right hand behind your head. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift up. Right elbow comes over towards your left knee. Bring that leg up. Lower back to the mat. Stay on that side. Lift up right elbow towards left knee and lower. Lift up, inhale lower. Maybe you can add a smile just like Sharon while you're working your core, lower back down to the mat. Lift, 
and lower, working that side body, try your shoulder all the way across towards your knee and then open back up. Go again and lower. Let's get ready to change sides. Left hand behind your head, right hand down by your side. Take a big breath in, exhale, lift, elbow towards knee and lower. Lift and lower using that exhale for your exertion of lifting and crossing body. Open up, inhale. Lift on your exhale and lower back down, working into those left side oblique muscles, side waist. Just a couple more on this side. Smooth, steady breaths, exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Nice job, everyone. Reach your arms up overhead. Legs are extended. Take a full body stretch. Now float your arms down by your side. Bend your knees. Plant your feet on your mat. Taking a reset bridge. As you inhale, lift your hips and arms sweep up overhead. As you exhale, slowly melting back down to your mat. One more time. You can try that again. Lift your hips, arms reach up. Everything lowers at the same time. Coming back down to your mat, softening towards the ground. Great. Draw your knees into your chest. Give a little rock right to left. Again, just easing out your low back. You can use the strength of your arms to pull your knees towards your torso. And then extend your legs long on your mat. Setting up for our last pose for Shavasana. Allowing your body to soften towards the ground. Taking up some space on your mat. Letting your breath be easy and smooth as you rest for a few moments. Remembering that you can call on that strength, but we need to balance it with a sense of ease. Full rest in Shavasana. Slowly begin to move your fingers, your toes, taking your time to re-energize your body. You can let your knees tick-tock right to left for an easy twist. Okay. And then making your way, resting onto your right side. You can rest your head on your arm. Let this practice land. And then rise up to a seated position. Sitting comfortably with a long spine. Feeling that strength from the inside. Knowing you can tap into it. Hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Take a moment to acknowledge your practice. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with us today. It's been so much fun. We look forward to seeing you again soon.